Hi, everyone. My name is Mark Franco, and I'm a Filipino American. And I'm here with my colleague to help us celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Hi, everyone. My name is Dorothy Dang. I am Taiwanese American. Uh, Mark and I were both with Wifer Taylor Presence Association, Nonprofit and Political Organizations Practice Section. And we had an opportunity to write an article in celebration of uh, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, which is now published on WTLP's website. And we welcome you to check it out. So, Mark, I have a question for you. When you were writing the article, what compelled you to put down the key points that you put down in the article? Sure, Dorothy. Um, you know, uh, I often try and take these types of opportunities to help not only myself, but others really understand that Asian Pacific Americans are a, a key piece of this community. You know, I myself, I grew up in West Virginia and there's uh, very few minorities there, um, particularly Asian. However, I never really felt out of place um, when I was growing up there. I, I, and, you know, I never really was made to feel like I was an, um, somebody that was a, you know, of a different race or a different culture. However, I've come to recognize that my experience is, is very unique and not like many other people's experience particularly Asian Pacific Americans. We see in the headlines nowadays, all kinds of stories about um, discrimination and other types of challenges that Asian Pacific Americans are facing. And so, um, you know, it, I was happy to, to take this type of opportunity to make sure that folks understand, especially during this, this Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, that um, we need to embrace Asian Pacific Americans as part of this community. How about you, Dorothy? You know, you had some thoughts in this article. Um, what prompted you to, to put those down? For me, because I came to, I consider myself a first generation immigrant, even though I was born here, but I was raised in Taiwan. So before the pandemic, I truly didn't think too much about it. Uh, I try to fit in as much as I can and I, I actually don't, I don't want people to think because of my heritage, therefore people should treat me differently. And I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm proud of where I come from. But when COVID-19 just started, uh, it was the very first time, and I share that in the article, that I do have concerns about my own safety. And that is really a moment of realization as to the importance of education and bring awareness to everybody else that an unintentional bias does exist and we should all work hard to educate ourselves and be aware uh, and have compassion about everybody around you. And also the difficulty and challenges to really have true inclusiveness in our society and our community. So we hope that our article gives an opportunity for every everybody reading the article and for our people who are watching this vid video to have some self-reflection and think about your friends, uh, people of color, and in, in our case, our heritage, Asian Pacific Americans, uh, it's, it's a moment for us to um, learn about things you can do to stop violence, be a good ally, and also read about the history of this country, um, which we also mentioned in the article. Thank you. Yeah, so if you have a chance, check out the article and join us in celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. We hope you take some time to learn about Filipino Americans, Taiwanese Americans, and all the other types of uh, Asian Pacific Americans that are part of um, this great country. Uh, and you know, we hope that you take a moment to reflect and really understand that diversity really makes community better. Thank you.